Hey guys, we're Tim and Sandy and of course Pablo and we love traveling around in our 2004 converted Mercedes Sprinter. This week we're at our first van life gathering. Good afternoon. So we have got something exciting this week. We're still in the city Grim. Well, technically, we're just a little bit outside. We're one ridge away. We can see the city Grim. That counts, yeah? The top of it. <laughs> so this week, we are going to a van life gathering in Australia. There isn't, well, as far as we know, there aren't many of these. As you're, quite, as you're aware, Australia is quite vast. So to get everyone together like this is pretty rare, I think. I think it happens maybe. I actually don't know, maybe once a year, this every one's six a months. Year, this one's a year. A yearly one, it's not been on for two years because of COVID. So. Yeah. So apparently there's a hundred vans going, didn't you say? That's what they said on the email. So I'm very excited. We haven't been to one before. Um, we'll let you know how it is. Let's go. To the van life festival or gathering as it's called here <laughs> and we just um, spent the last 10 minutes or so trying to figure out the best place to park so we found somewhere it's um, pretty spacious at the moment actually but it's early Friday afternoon so we'll see how busy this gets but there's a nice river right near us and we're just far enough away from the main entertainment not to keep us up at night if we want to come back but close enough to stumble home quite safely so looking forward to this so what are you expecting from this weekend, uh, Timothy? Absolutely no idea. It's quite <laughs> relaxed at the moment. So it's, uh, it's still it's still early days. Um, it doesn't really kick off for another hour. People are still turning up. So now I'm looking at the camera. He looks at the viewfinder. It, well, no, he looks at me. When I'm holding the camera on him, he constantly looks at me and talks. I'm like, no. Why wouldn't you? He's supposed to be talking Why to you, <laughs> not, not me. I know what he thinks. <laughs> but anyway. Cheers, guys. Good morning. So we arrived pretty late yesterday. It was about three o'clock and by the time we got set up and it was just crazy. There was all these vans and it was like, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that. It was very, very like, wow. Uh, it was a bit overwhelmed. So we didn't actually pay any attention to filming because we just wanted to look at everything and um, take everything in. So it got dark really quick as well. So we couldn't really get much footage because there's not much lighting around here. Um, there's a massive bonfire, big circle, everyone's sitting around chatting. Morning. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was it was really it was really good. And uh, they had a big marquee um, set up with fairy lights, but it was quite low lighting, so we had a bit of trouble you know, like, trying to get some um, footage in. There's live music, uh, people talking about yoga and in the indigenous cultures, and that it was all very very interesting. So everyone's slowly waking up here. Um, people are setting up and doing their own things and saying hi it's all very very friendly this morning at nine o'clock there's a group hike up to i believe the big ridge that's just over here we go along and we'll bring you along with us and uh, we'll show you a group hike this time instead of us getting lost up a mountain somewhere and fearing for our lives also just to add to that we haven't actually vlogged with a group of people before so it's scary <laughs> 
We've asked permission from the uh, from the uh, organisers, we and they said it's fine. We're a bit shy sometimes, but we're going to give it a go, and uh, hopefully, people are accepting of us. off on our hike now and I'm actually not sure where we're going yet but I'm sure we'll find out when we get there <laughs> and go, they're going later than we normally go we normally go about seven as you know and they're leaving at nine so we've been up for a while we've had a brekkie and uh, yeah we'll see how this goes we got quite a group going so should be interesting hmm. hope we can keep up there'll be many people to rescue off the mountain <laughs> Done. Yeah, we tried. I got a wet foot. So far, so good. Um, they're going a little bit faster than we would like, but. I guess we just slow and we like to take in the surroundings and we're trying to film <laughs> which makes us a little bit slower than the rest but there is people behind us so as long as we're not last I don't yeah. like, I don't like All being All the young last. people are running on good vibes and tofu it's amazing to see it. We're trying to go on good vibes and tofu but our age catch up with us I think. <laughs> the equipment's worn. <laughs> so good have um, dropped about 50 places in the line because <laughs> I'm so unfit everyone just keeps uh, trudging no, on they're, they, they all go at a half faster pace than we do yeah not unfit, it's just that they I don't go at that pace I think I'm unfit <laughs> but I have joined a gym and uh, we're gonna get fitter guys we're gonna get fitter <laughs> <laughs> I can blame age but I don't know. There's some older people in front of us. There is some older people in front of us, so you know, you can only play that card so often. Skipping, but... skipping up the track like mountain goats. <laughs> Check out this view, it's, it's just stunning everywhere we look around here, so I'm excited to see what's at the top. Apart from the steepness and falling behind and feeling like you're not quick enough, it's not too bad a walk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really nice. Everyone seems to be stopping up ahead, so we uh, might get the drone up. Well, we will get the drone up because it's a uh, lovely conditions for flying today. It's hardly any wind, and we have stunning views. And there's drones going around, around everywhere. All you can hear is buzzing. <laughs> but it's a beautiful view up here and uh, it's just beautiful fields and stuff that we haven't had before. We're usually in rougher terrain, like uh, rocks and stuff. So it's quite nice. So Sandy may have already informed you that we were at the top. <laughs> she was incorrect. We're now going up. We're now going up even higher. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have even better views for you. This walk is turning out to be a little bit challenging with mud and Everything else? Hey. Oh, but we're sticking together. <laughs> uh, 
The terrain is um, somewhat changed. We are now in the forest. It's very bizarre. Sandy almost fell over. Um, yeah, um, it's nice because it's just started to rain, but it's like the humidity is really high today and it's quite warm. So it's making it a bit difficult for us oldies. Um, but yeah, we welcome the rain. Everyone else seems to be like not so impressed with it, but hey. Just having a little break here because the trail splits into two and we're just waiting for the people behind us to catch up so that we can move on. We don't want them going down the wrong trail. There's this nice rock formation behind us. <laughs> Where are these people leading us? say this but we could be lost are we lost how do we know this is the right way hold on human <laughs> that tastes bad <laughs> idiot Lord kick oh there's a view ahead at least we can see where we're going <laughs> so every time Tim gets his stick out I mean his walking stick he turns very English it doesn't hold him up, it just... I don't know what you mean, my dear. <laughs> it takes him back to his heritage. <laughs> Tally-ho! <laughs> and we came down from the mountains. Looks like we're turning back now. We're not turning back, we're actually heading back, down. To, <laughs> heading back to camp. <laughs> we'll see you back at the van. Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down we get up and start from the ground Go on a hike they said There won't be too much trouble There's the creek to go through We had to walk through a creek And I've got, I'm literally stepping in puddles See how much water's in my boot <laughs> I think mine are just as bad <laughs> Oh well it was fun so we've been just chilling after lunch this afternoon and now we're going to a small kitchen cooking demonstration and in the main tent in the main tent um, the guys just came around and gave us a, a free book and we'll tag you in this video in our description but it is about all about it's about cooking having in a small place. cooking in a small place not using an oven and cooking with less things as possible, I think. Yes. But we'll confirm that when we see her. <laughs> We're gonna head out and do that now. Just shown you the uh, little dance workshops they were having this afternoon. They get everyone interacting with everybody else, and uh, there's a nice little atmosphere going on here. Well, we were going to go to a cooking demonstration and then we had a squirrel moment. We noticed there is a van with a lift bed in it. I know I said no lift beds in our suggestions, but this one 
is really done well and there's so much space. So maybe we'll go and have a look. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on I get my lift bed. <laughs> I let it go for a little while. So be here as the night starts falling. Let my fingers walk over your head. We got nothing to be scared. So I've just come back to our van now because they're doing a raffle up in the main area. And they actually had pretty good prices. I'm pretty sure they were giving away Victron products and t-shirts and all sorts of stuff. But we didn't buy a ticket because we forgot cash today. This weekend. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. Uh, we're back at the van. I think we're going to have some dinner now. Um, and after dinner, we're going to head back up to the fire and socialize a bit more. But we can't actually take any footage up there because there's bad lighting, obviously. You're not going to see much. So... We're going to sign off for tonight now, uh, but we'll see you tomorrow morning. And I think there's some classes going on. I'm not sure what's going on tomorrow, but uh, we'll take you around. Good night. Well, it actually, it rained all night last night. So we've woken up to people trying to get out of their camp spots and skidding their wheels and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's gonna happen today because I think the things that um, were planned were outdoors. Um, so we'll just chill out, have some breakfast. And if we don't get to do something here, we'll maybe stop somewhere on the way home, who knows? Um, but we'll keep you up to date. At the moment, we're having some bacon. Baked bacon. It's trying to sizzle. <laughs> it's trying to. We're cooking it outside. We're not too bad. We we slept um, pretty well last night, actually. It's always cozy in here. And we're still staring at the lift bed across the way there. <laughs> Tempting. Hope, hope you're gonna go we'll to have to have a real good think about that. But anyway, it's a nice morning. This gathering was dog friendly, but I don't know if you've noticed, but if you've seen Pablo with our drone, he goes a bit nuts and he goes the same with big dogs so we thought we'd leave him with someone this weekend and we've left him with um, the dog cottage this is where I leave him if I'm around this area most of the time she's fantastic with little dogs she takes little dogs from I think no more than 10 kilos she specializes in cavaliers and she has chihuahuas as well so they have basically have the run of the house she looks after them like their own little babies and he's fully he's just fully looked after he's there really well and looked after. He's i cared trust for. her with anything um, he, <laughs> sta he stayed there while we were in tasmania he did, and he absolutely loved it yeah so that's us for the weekend here at the uh, van life gathering um and also our last episode of the scenic rim series technically we're not in the scenic rim but it's there. It's over there. <laughs> it's that cliff So we're including there. it. We're including it. <laughs> um, we will go back to the scenic ring one day um, because definitely we want to go and try and check out that um, plane crash site yeah. um, that we teased you with and never actually managed because the weather was terrible. Yeah. When we get a good uh, weekend or when it's not raining, because it's even raining today, so um, we'll we'll head back up there and show you because I really want to... Have a look at the uh, the plane. What did I say? Train wreck. The plane wreck. Um, it should be interesting. 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button and... Always leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. Say hi, doesn't matter, we still love you. <laughs> You are amazing, our little sandings. We're following along and keeping with us every week and supporting us. We really value you and we appreciate you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.